U.S. policy. So why did he do it? Back with us with an important update, the editor-in-chief, investigative reporter, JustTheNews.com, John Solomon. These are blockbuster because, Joe, you know, we had, things had worked out. Every department had signed off and said, no, we're good to give them these loan guarantees. And Joe Biden's role as vice president was to deliver it, not leverage it the way he did. Uh, and as a result of his leverage, his son continued to be enriched and get paid, correct? Uh, that's true. And, believe, and as we know from Devin Archer, the whole reason that Burisma hired Hunter Biden was to keep or ward off these type of investigations. They knew they were considered to be a crap company. So getting Hunter Biden on the board was designed to keep people from messing with him. I think that was the exact term that Devin Archer did. Now, tonight we learned something new. What I tried to do today is take, all right, we know how Joe Biden came to pivot. We, he goes from getting a recommendation to give the billion dollars to threatening to withhold the billion dollars to force the firing of the prosecutor. What was going on in Hunter Biden's lifetime and that time? And we lay out a timetable tonight. Everybody can see it. The documents are up. These are all original government documents and those from Hunter Biden's laptop. Hunter Biden begins getting pressure in October 2015 that uh, Burisma is worried because the ambassador for Joe Biden and Barack Obama just gave a speech. He kicked the uh, a prosecutor Shokin into derriere. He starts uh, escalating an investigation against Burisma. People are not happy. The Wall Street Journal and the New York Times are beginning to ask questions. Joe Biden gets a personal contact from one of the senior officials, Amos Hotch who says, listen, there's a lot of people talking that Hunter Biden's involved with the wrong company, and now there's an investigation of it. That's all going on. Eventually, Hunter Biden becomes concerned enough to hire a crisis communication firm to help Burisma and him try to tamp down these stories. It doesn't work. Now the Biden White House, the Biden vice president's office has to get involved. They now are engaging the New York Times and Wall Street Journal just a few days before Joe Biden makes that famous trip and does that famous line. You're not getting the billion dollars unless you fire uh, Victor Shokin. The Biden White House knew that this Shokin investigation posed a political threat to the family, a personal threat to Joe Biden's uh, son's uh, company, the company paying him a million dollars a year. And it's in that moment when all this is happening that Joe Biden flips the switch and goes from the recommendation given the billion dollars to you're not getting the billion dollars until you fire Shokin and son of a B, they fire Shokin. The timetable, the overlaying of the two parallel tracks shows that Joe Biden and Hunter Biden were both working towards the same goal. And he would have been briefed. Every single vice president or president going abroad would get a briefing book before that. But the timeline also gets tighter. Yeah. December 5th, Dubai, Hunter, Burisma executives called Joe, needing D.C. help. Five days later was the day that he leveraged the billion dollars. Yeah. Um, I would say that the guy that never talked to his son Hunter or his brother or uh, anybody else for that matter was up to his eyeballs and helping his uh, drug-addicted son at the time get really, really wealthy uh, with no yeah. experience. And had he not taken those actions, I, I guess the spigot would have been 